today we are going to talk about how to change the propane cylinder on a propane forklift. Not all cylinders are the same, but basically this is what a propane cylinder will look like when you, that is used on a, on a normal propane forklift. There is nothing special about it. It is a normal cylinder that you would use on a normal gas stove. It is just used on a forklift. Now, here you have your uh, indicator, tell you how much propane is left in the cylinder. Uh, here you have your blowout, um, which is your safety panel. So if there should be an issue, if the propane cylinder is over full or it gets, it's, uh, becomes overheated, uh, this section here will simply blow out and prevent the flame cylinder from exploding and of course here is your um, your valve where you will get your propane comes through here goes through here and into the engine so this connection here will come up here now for servicing purposes this section can swing out so as you can see it has a latch right here you simply lift this latch up and pull this out so as you can see there is a security band that holds the cylinder onto the carriage right here now this is all for servicing and so on it is not necessary to remove this when you are removing the cylinder now to get it back into here you simply push it and this latch will come right down and now this here is completely secure in right here now to get the cylinder off first thing there is a procedure before you remove the cylinder usually when you're removing a cylinder it is already empty so what would happen is to ensure that there is uh, as little escape of gas as possible the first thing you need to do is to turn this knob and ensure that it is completely off so you are going to turn that knob right there ensure that this knob here is completely tight then the next thing you would do is to go to the forklift turn it on and allow all the gas that is in the line to burn out because even though the cylinder might be empty there may still be some gas in the line and it is unpleasant it's really not that harmful to be honest and when you're doing that by the way you should be wearing gloves uh, now there is inevitable that there will be some escape of gas it, you just can't um, avoid that now the next thing you are going to do is to before you remove anything you are going to unclasp this now there will be some variation of this secure uh, security band some will have two some will have uh, one as it's right here and um, there are other types of cylinders that we won't get into at the moment because we do not have examples of them to show but many places do not use this type of cylinder they use refillable cylinders that they do um, refill themselves because they buy the gas in bulk it is a cheaper and more, more cost-effective way of running a propane uh, forklift now this particular type as you can see it's very simple you hold right here pop this up flip that down flip that up as you can see down right there basic and simple pause right here take this section right here put it take this section right here put it into right here
and it's secure. So that is putting the securing the cylinder. Now I am not going to remove this, but it would after having ensured that there is no gas in the line and that the valve is completely closed, you would hold this section right here and twist it and simply remove it. Um, put another one, get another one, put it back, turn it on, put it on here, and you would simply close it back up. You would ensure that it is completely tight by holding it and simply twisting it as hard as you can. I mean, this hand tightened as a general rule, you do not need to use tools. And having done that, then you would, what most experienced people do, they will simply stick a hand right here and hold it. And you can feel if, if it's cold, you can feel gas escaping right here. It will feel quite cold. Most people will simply stick their hand right here and sniff it. And you can smell if there is gas escaping because you will smell gas on your hand. Now having done it properly and assured yourself that it is perfectly fine, you then stick your hand in here, grab a hold of this knob right here, and turn and you're going to turn it all the way open now it's all the way open and then you give it a half to a quarter turn and you're good to go you simply go back over here and you start your forklift now never ever start your forklift when you are outside of the forklift your three-point entrance, you sit in your forklift, foot on the brake, ensure that it's in neutral, so here is reverse, here is forward, middle is neutral, you grab your key, And you have successfully changed a forklift propane gas cylinder. Now, bye for now.